Ярославской области кардиологические болезни составляют около 14% среди общей заболеваемости, а вот смертность они дают самую высокую, почти 58%. Проблема артериальной гипертонии в Ярославской области – это не новая проблема. Различные э, проекты по лечению больных с артериальной гипертонией были в Российской Федерации еще с 2000-х годов. Part of our work is to partner directly with healthcare systems to improve outcomes in a disease that is a priority for them. The Yaroslavl Hypertension Improvement Partnership project began when the governor of Yaroslavl region invited Novartis to come and work with his team on reducing the burden of heart attacks and strokes in the region. The uniqueness of this project is that, first of all, it was able to unite all the interested people в достижении конкретного результата. We use a structured approach to the improvement partnerships. Firstly, a setup phase where we align with the stakeholders, making sure we have the right resources. Secondly, a data-driven diagnostic phase, understand the situation and some of the root causes. Third, in the design phase, we set a performance target. And finally, we move to implementation, where we make changes and measure and adapt along the way. We look at all aspects of the healthcare system performance, not just the clinical processes, but also the performance management of the system, and we assess the skills, mindsets, and behaviors of players in the system, and we compare them against evidence-based guidelines and high-performing systems in other countries. I was approached as the chair of the Canadian Hypertension Education Program to help bring uh, a guidelines approach to the Yaroslavl region to try to do as we had done in Canada, to lower blood pressure relatively quickly and to reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke. The main challenge we found was that the blood pressure control rate was poor, particularly compared with other countries. There were three main reasons. Firstly, there was no blood pressure target set or monitored. Secondly, although there were guidelines, they weren't being implemented and followed consistently in the clinics. And thirdly, that patients themselves did not see the value in managing their blood pressure. Сейчас в умах всех терапевтов и кардиологов Ярославской области целевые цифры артериального давления и все пути для достижения этой цели. There were a lot of counseling by chief specialists in the Yaroslav region, chief GP and chief cardiologist, that uh, were going to clinics, to hospitals, to polyclinics mostly, and they were working with GPs a lot. They were teaching them how to treat hypertension, and not really which drugs to use, but which result to achieve. So they were telling doctors that the most important in treatment of hypertension is the achievement of blood pressure control. Doctors were provided some tools, they were provided with materials about hypertension to be provided to patients. They were also provided uh, by Novartis with blood pressure control logs where the, each patient can write its own blood pressure level at home and then bring back to doctor and show the levels of blood pressure which he has during the week. So in the one year perspective we managed to achieve almost 7% improvement in blood pressure control. Если мы говорим о том, что результаты лечения стали значительно лучше, мы говорим о том, что количество осложнений, инфарктов, миокардов и нарушения мозгового кровообращения стало меньше, стало быть, это приводит к тому, что снижаются затраты на лечение вот этих грозных осложнений. Проект консолидировал терапевтов. Теперь все живут единой идеей, как к концу года добиться целевых цифр, увеличения процента больных, ответивших на терапию. Такого не было еще в Ярославской области. Успех обусловлен несколькими факторами. Первое – это желание правительства наладить ситуацию с артериальной гипертонией. Второе – желание департамента добиться хороших успехов. Были проекты, были стандарты, была строгая дисциплина исполнительская, можно сказать, что чуть ли не ежедневный контроль. When we started, we only knew that we need to control hypertension. At the end, we now know that it's not only about hypertension, it's about doctors' mindsets, it's about patients' adherence, it's about a lot of other organizational work which is around hypertension, which you need to take care of. We work to change mindsets in other important ways. We overcame skepticism that it would be possible to change and improve the system. 
the primary objective that we share with every other stakeholder, every other player in the healthcare system, is to improve patient outcomes. And we've shown in this project that we can work effectively with other stakeholders to do precisely that. Our Yaroslavl project attracted so much attention that we receiving requests from other regions to conduct something similar. And with this project, the health situation of those patients will improve significantly in the years to come. This is truly a unique project. I'm not aware of any other project like it, where two countries have really linked together in a partnership for management of chronic disease, in this case, blood pressure awareness, treatment and control.